It is nearly a wrap for legislators in Madison. This afternoon, the Senate officially ended its legislative session. However, right now, the state assembly members are still at work. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us tonight. While the session began with a bang, you might remember, it is ending quietly. The two-year session began in January of 2011, and among the changes passed include the elimination of most collective bargaining powers for public workers. Also, residents now have the ability to carry a concealed weapon. And despite what was done, some legislators feel there is still a lot of unfinished business. Fox 11's Beth Jones joins us now and brings us balanced coverage. The official legislative session may be over, but the debate over whether enough was done continues. We continue to focus on, for the most part, jobs in the economy. I think a lot of time was spent on social engineering rather than creating jobs. Republicans feel overall the session was a success. According to Senate Majority Leader Fitzgerald, one key success was the passing of the collective bargaining law. Fitzgerald says the changes helped balance the budget. However, the plan also drew hundreds of thousands of demonstrators across the state. Fitzgerald also says the creation of the Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation is key to help move the state forward. The WEDC is a public-private partnership which replaced the Department of Commerce. Its mission is to bring more jobs to Wisconsin. Once the WEDC is not only up and running, but kind of is able to develop a vision for the state, that I think that'll pay huge dividends for us on job creation down the road. We didn't take care of some of the priorities that we have as Democrats, and that's health care, uh, education, obviously, protecting our seniors, growing the economy, and creating jobs, and helping all the working men and women in the state to be the, the best that they can be. Democrats say with Republicans controlling both the Senate and the Assembly, many of their proposals weren't considered. We have to be for all the people. And uh, we believe we can get through hard times without making big cuts to our children's education and denying thousands of them health care. And we believe government can and should be a force for good, fairness, and progress for everyone. And Hansen and other Democrats hope to see that progress come next session. Senators may be back on the floor sooner than anticipated. A Senate committee is expected to meet on Monday in hopes of a compromise to the contentious mining bill. If enough support is there, the Senate could be called back into special session.